Hey everyone, welcome back to the Matt Report uh, podcast. Today in this video, we're going to show you how uh, in a recent episode, uh, we recorded a website teardown for uh, quizandsurveymaster.com. If you haven't watched that, go ahead and click the link. Uh, in the summary of this video, you'll uh, be brought to that blog post. Uh, otherwise, uh, we looked at this site and we gave some feedback on how we would change it. And as you can see here, this site is primarily text, uh, not a lot of imagery, uh, very sort of uh, almost a static feel to it, even though it's a WordPress site. Uh, what I'm doing today is I've taken the liberty to sort of review a design, uh, a redesign of that site using our Baton theme. Uh, this is a Baton Pro, and you can get that at slocumthemes.com. Again, that'll be linked up uh, in this blog post or the video wherever you're watching this. And I've kind of already started this. Uh, again, I'm not going pixel for pixel. I'm also not spending too much time on it, but just a quick way to show somebody how they can take an older site and sort of breathe some new life into it uh, with the baton theme. And you can see here, one of the things that we mentioned was that there wasn't very much imagery uh, specifically for the features of the product, but something that connects with somebody. Again, I just use this sort of standard stock photo that you see on a lot of sites, uh, you know, kind of marrying the uh, mobile uh, user who's on the go, using a laptop, checking the phone, that kind of thing. Add quizzes and surveys to your websites in minutes. I kind of changed the uh, call to action to uh, as well, but this is our note hero widget and I'm already in the customizer. So if I just go ahead and edit that, uh, you can see this is just our note widget and I can change this uh, just by typing uh, over here in the previewer. So I can just edit that if I want or uh, if I wanted to center that. It's one of the things that the, uh, that the site does is it has everything centered, um, which is I think good and bad in some sort of a, a, a more classic uh, way of doing things. And again, this image might not be exactly what we should have in here. Maybe they should have some shade effects so that things contrast a little bit more. But again, this is just for some quick demonstration purposes. Maybe I'll do something like that and you can read it a little bit better. Uh, and then of course the call to action button there. We can edit this background if we wanted to just by clicking on that and selecting uh, a different image. Uh, if there was an image in there that, that we wanted uh, differently. And you're seeing the space here because with our theme, you can add in uh, more widgets or sidebars in certain locations. So uh, let's go to the header and just align it with the navigation below, like they have it on Quiz and Survey Master. Get that out of the way so you can see uh, it's starting to take shape a little bit more. Uh, one of the concerns we had, again, was matching up some of the, the major features uh, with some images. And of course, I don't have any images of that particular plugin. Uh, but if I were to repurpose this section uh, with some images, uh, I would do something like this. So with our, again, with our note widget, these sort of predefined styles, what I can do is I can say something like, hey, here's everything to know about reporting. And here's everything about the grade book. And I can link to it on those specific pages. And then on the right hand side, I can add an image, right? And uh, as you can see, this is just two column. This is a two column layout, uh, content on the left, media on the right, and just set at two rows. If I wanted to add a third feature, I could just drag that over to three. Uh, the note widget will load and it'll load in a third spot here for me to go, you know, feature three, and I can add in another image. I don't really have one particular for this stuff again, so I'm just putting in some placeholder. Uh, stuff for now, but that's how I would create uh, more imagery um, for very important features of a product so that I can, as I'm scrolling, I can match up those call to action words with an actual image to understand what reporting might look like. So it might be a bar graph, the grade book might be the output of that, uh, so on and so forth. All right, and the next thing I might do is how do we solve for all of these features? So I've, you don't want to outline all of your features with images because that would just be probably way too much. Um, but very commonly, we'll see uh, these these grids of text with uh, feature sets on them. So I'll go ahead and add another note widget in. Uh, this time I'll use notes specific uh, display for our features, and we have two of them, but we'll just show you one for right now. So I'll do feature one, and I'll just say my amazing features. Check out all of these features that will make your life great. And again, I'm not going to go and do 
pixel by pixel or even word by word here, but let's just for example's sake, get these in for you so you can see that. And I can go in and I can type in the rest of this like description, link it up. I can add an image, a little icon above that. But as you can see, it's just styled a little bit more, uh, better typography, and it's got a little line uh, that matches our sort of color scheme here. And that's how I would solve uh, this grid. I would, again, start with a nice big call to action uh, with some uh, image that you know relates to the, to that call to action. I would display some actual images and feature of the features of the major features anyway, so that people can visualize it and then link to it uh, if necessary. And then for the rest of those features, uh, sort of the standard features that we kind of expect, um, I would start to populate that out into a grid. And as you can see, we have one row, which is not a problem with Baton. We can. Uh, ex uh, extend that all the way to nine rows, I think. But if when I drag that to two rows, you can see it just adds in uh, the second row. If I wanted to go to three rows, I could drag it to three rows. And now we have uh, 12 features potentially that we could work with. And you can just fill out all of those features. And uh, we'll just save that. And uh, you, yeah, you can have all of those features laid out in the grid. And somewhere in here, I'd probably sprinkle in another call to action or another hero widget for uh, downloading or signing up for a newsletter, that kind of thing. Uh, but that's how I would sort of bring in uh, the quiz and survey master.com website uh, to a little bit more sort of traditional sort of startup product design site. Uh, and again, that's using our Baton Pro theme. There's also a free version, uh, which doesn't have all the features, but just enough to get you started with a great homepage. Uh, and you can check that out at silicumthemes.com. Thanks, everybody. That's the Matt Report. You know what to do. It's mattreport.com slash subscribe. Join the mailing list. And if you can find us on iTunes, just type in Matt Report, search for us there, uh, and give us a five-star review. We'd love it. It'll help you get found a little bit more in the iTunes library. Thanks, everyone.